All righty. So I have a construction update for you guys today. We got quite a bit on film. So I flew the drone and we were able to get inside the park and get an update for you. Um, so you're going to see a lot of interesting things, especially at the end of the video. You're going to see the surveyor um, go into the mound. The surveyor in question is also on the camera right now on the drone. Um, that is Hartwell. So Hartwell is on site um, and they are in a much bigger presence going inside the mountain now. And they also have a container um, set up outside the mountain now uh, with their tools and everything in it. So definitely some interesting signs as to what's to come for our 2025 project. I think it's becoming even more inevitable that this is going to be the location of our 2025 project. I wanted to let you guys know of a theory that I'm crafting. I think that um, it's still going to be a ruins themed, but I came up with this weird theory that what if this were to actually not take up International Showplace's tent and actually take up the arcade building um, in World Expo and this ride be actually in World Expo instead of right next to Guardian. Now that is just a crazy theory. I haven't seen any concrete proof of that. I think that the renderings indicate that it's going to go in international show place, but that is just a second food of thought that um, I have been thinking about that I wanted to convey. So on top of that, um, you're going to see in today's update a point of key interest at front gate. So I want you guys to keep that in mind because I'm going to explain why that could be of importance. But on top of that, I'm going to show you guys the front gate reno and kind of make a little more sense now that I've seen somewhat of a layout in person um, at the park. So on the screen right now, you can see Hartwell's main office on site. Um, there's conduit and um, some wiring. So that's obviously for a big project that's taking place. Um, like at front gate and for the 2025 coaster um, from what's been explained to me when you see this coaster go up you're going to see an electrical room almost like the size of the station so it's a big electrical room that's going to be needed for the station so we won't miss that kind of construction project and it'll be pretty obvious um, when they start building that so i just wanted to, um, to explain that to you guys because i thought that was really cool um, the amount of space they're going to need just for the electrical room for a launch coaster especially a large bnm launch so over here at front gate you're going to see five q lines built right now you're going to see another five added on the other side but here you have five q lines leading towards front gate a concrete pad um, where they'll most likely have those new security scanners um, and then you'll walk over to um, the front gate area so you're going to have this on either side um, and i'm going to whip up a quick drawing for you guys to hopefully this makes sense so the red is the queue lines the gray is the concrete pads where the security will go and the green dots are what i think could be either self-service kiosks or just a, a giant power bank for the area that craig had suggested earlier that 247 is a key point so i want you guys to remember that because there's a potential that could indicate a turnaround for the wing coaster or some sort of other important thing in that area it's a very key note um, in terms of surveying so we know we now have a very um ideal aspect of a key reference point for the front gate area so whether that's for front gate or the wing coaster only time will tell um, on the screen right now, we have more surveying markings popping up over by Extreme Skyflyer, Front Gate, um, and the um, Front Gate area. So we'll have to figure out what these are for, but I think it's pretty obvious that Canada's Wonderland's got some major projects in the works surrounding Front Gate um, and the International Festival. Um, here you have more signs of the 2025 launch coaster and a different angle of what's going on here. Um, so again, there's the shipping container, there's the diesel generator, um, and um, some more survey markings surrounding that area. So we're gonna show you guys another angle of the front gate construction. So remember in this area, we have a new um, construction fence that's gone up, not this one, the one over to the left side of this building, but also you have these survey markings, but what you're about to see is some insulation from inside the mountain um, that Hartwell and uh, Wonderland has been clearing out as they get ready to install a bunch of infrastructure inside the mountain and begin construction. Now, what I want you guys to think about is how are they going to build this coaster inside the mountain? I think what a lot of us are forgetting to think about is they're essentially, in my opinion, going to have to dig out about a quarter section of this mountain to build a giant B&M coaster in 
that section of the mountain. I don't see how they could lift BNM track in without kind of cutting out the mountain and building it in that aspect. So there's the insulation on the ground. Um, trying to think if there was anything else to talk about in terms of the wing coaster. I know that Craiga, okay, you, you guys know how short Craiga is, right? The fence that he was filming over was really tall, and the footage you're about to see um, in a second is Craiga trying to film a surveyor, and I was trying to explain who to film, and he started filming some random person. You will see the surveyor in the shot, but Craiga, so right there, that's who I was telling Craiga to film, the guy dressed in black, and Craig zooms in on a guy dressed in green and starts following him instead of the surveyor. Luckily, we know where this guy's walking. He's walking inside the mountain with that laser beam. So essentially what that laser beam um, surveyor does is he's going to put that down in a section and it's going to scan. And any of those red and white surveying um, things that are placed, it's going to scan those and calculate a distance and... Um, some numbers about that area and uh, upload it to an iPad um, for later use. So I've, I just wanted to tell you guys what that's for. Um, and I definitely wanted to show you guys this funny clip of Craig thinking he's doing something useful, but not um typical but um yeah we're gonna end the video off hopefully this was a cool construction update for you guys uh the video is gonna end with jake you know jake being jake but yeah that's it for today hopefully you guys are having an amazing weekend it's the start of the weekend um and catch you at the park bye